we are trying to uh, replace the batteries in the pacemaker with a new device that we are developing. The device converts the heartbeat vibration to electrical energy. So when a device is placed next to the heart or in a close vicinity, it uh, converts the heartbeat vibrations without overloading the heart into electrical energy. And now what that does is, uh, currently if you look at the pacemakers, 60% um, of the size of the pacemaker is just the battery. It's a huge amount of size. And uh, in spite, uh, you have to change the pacemakers every five to seven years because the battery is going to be What happens is, if we use this uh, technology, that uh, shortcoming is removed. That means if the other parts of the pacemaker are perfectly functional, uh, because the energy is constantly generated, the pacemaker, can, the pacemaker can stay there for as long as it works. And so that removes this uh, painful need of changing uh, the pacemakers through surgery. Okay. Um, the uh, device is, uh, uh, works based on the piezoelectric energy harvesting, which means that um, the vibration is going to create uh, vibrations inside the piezoelectric material, and that is going to convert the ambient vibration into electrical energy. Um, what we did was we proved that the design that we have, the device that we have, can, in ideal conditions, can generate 20 times the amount of power needed by a pacemaker. So this is a perfectly robust design in terms of ideal conditions. We also tested um, the design at different heart rates. We tested it from 20 beats per minute to 600 beats per minute. And in all conditions, it was able to generate at least three times more than what of power needed. So we both proved that this can generate enough power and it can generate it safely and robustly over a very large range of heartbeat. So it is a very promising new piece of technology.